Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ishmael from Conjured Realm. Okay, so in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about three things you possibly could be doing wrong when manifesting your SP. Now, SP is a very popular subject and I get a lot of requests to do a lot of SP videos. So if you want to see me make a video that you're needing a little bit more help in, please leave those video requests down in the comments below. I read all my comments and I want to keep making videos that you guys are entertained by and liked learning from. So the first thing is you're paying too much attention to the 3D. The 3D is a one month old newspaper. It's a dump. Everything that we once thought is now in front of us. It's not in real time. The 3D is delayed. So something that we think about today is something that will show up later on in the future, possibly within the next 10, 15 minutes or even tomorrow. Today's affirmations are tomorrow's manifestations. So you're paying too much attention to something that is old. Someone said something to you that you did not like and you're in the middle of changing them. You're using affirmations to change that person and you don't see it being reflected onto your 3D. You automatically react and you continue to manifest that version of that person that you do not like. You're giving too much attention to the 3D. That is not good because the more you react, the more you create because it only solidifies the proof that you're seeing in front of you. Remember, reacting means you are accepting. So if things that you are seeing in front of you is not something that you want, we would not be reacting. We have to learn to turn off our reactive side of us and turn on our creator mode and change the things that we do not like, whether that be ignore it or change the way we perceive it in our thoughts. The second thing that you possibly could be doing wrong is you're not persisting in the new story long enough. Now, when I mean persisting is you're not seeing the perspective from a favorable outcome with the thing you're trying to manifest. Whenever the subject comes up in your mind, you either see it favorably for a couple seconds, but then you go right back to seeing it how it once was. Persisting means you persist in the new story. You want to continuously persist in a new story until it solidifies and shows up in your 3D. The reason why a lot of the things that you are desiring may not be happening the way you want it is because you waver, which causes hot and cold behavior, or you're not doing it long enough. Remember, our subconscious has a lot of proof that we don't have the thing that we want. In fact, if you don't even work on changing that idea that we already have adopted in our subconscious, it has no reason to change it. You have a lot of proof within you that tells your subconscious that no, the thing that we are seeing is this way because because you told me this is how you want it perceived. Now, the things that we are seeing in the 3D are not permanent. They very much could be changed, but it takes that discipline to every time you encounter a situation that you do not like, you do not give it power by reacting to it and certainly not continuously affirming for that thing that you do not want. And what does that look like? Every time something happens that's not favorable for you, you have a tendency maybe to say, see, this is why I never even go here because I never get the parking space that I want at the shop. Or see, every time I text SP, they never text me back. Little things like this make a very big impact on your subconscious because you're only giving it more ammo and more proof that you're not gonna get what you want or that you don't have what you want. And the very last thing and the most important in my opinion Something that you could be doing wrong when manifesting an SP is you are not prioritizing yourself. You are putting your SP on a pedestal. Remember, this world is a mirror. If you pay attention to your SP, what motive does he or she have to pay attention to you? It's a reflection. If everyone is you pushed out and everything is a mirror, what do you think would happen when you put all the attention onto yourself? Naturally, everyone will have to start shifting and seeing you the way that you start to see yourself. A lot of people love to put the focus and all the attention on SP and SP is not doing this for me, SP is not talking to me, SP is not in my life right now, they're with someone else. All that attention you're giving to them and all that focus on the wrong story is prevalent in your life because you continue to keep speaking those things. In fact, you pay attention to those things more than you do the things that you want. A lot of people are scared that if they start prioritizing themselves, that means that they think that they won't be getting their manifestation, but that could not be further from the truth. Our subconscious is very smart. 
smarter than we give it credit for. Once you put in the order for the things that you want, it knows that this is what you want. The thing is, we're just so in our way that we don't allow things to come and flow naturally to us. You actually do yourself a disservice by putting the focus outside of you. I have a lot of clients who are surprised at the fact that once they stopped paying attention to SP and once they stopped giving their power to the 3D, how quickly everything changed. And I'm talking like a matter of days to like a couple weeks max. The thing is people think that if they're not interested in their SP that the manifestation will be lost. That's not always the case and I wish more people knew this because you would be manifesting 10 times faster if you put all your power back into yourself, if you start relying on yourself, if you stopped worrying so much. I love this quote. I think I heard it from Neville or Abraham Hicks, but it's the more you relax, the more you receive. And I 110% believe that so, so much because it's in the moment where I am chill and relaxed and neutral and I'm not thinking about my manifestation that it happens the fastest. But yes, those are the three reasons and the most common reasons why I see a lot of people not getting their SPs as fast as they want. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon to be notified every time I post a new video. I am still doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you guys are interested, please contact me at conjuredrealm at gmail.com. All right, guys, happy manifesting.